Welcome back to Life Room 27, everybody. I'm Miss Robinson, and I'm here with another math tutorial video for you guys. So today we are going over lesson 3.5, and in lesson 3.5 we are doing decimal division, and we are specifically looking at how can you use base 10 blocks to add two decimals together. So in class today, we kind of looked at it using actual base 10 blocks, but tonight for your homework and on test, you won't have access to those base 10 blocks. So we're gonna be practicing adding two decimals together using a quick picture that we will draw. This lesson in some ways is a little bit like our partial quotients lesson in that the pieces that you are drawing and using are the same, um, but instead of dividing, and dividing with whole numbers, you are now adding and you are adding with decimals. So I am going to show you a couple of, maybe two, maybe three, a couple of quick examples on how to use a quick picture to add two decimals. And then I will come back with some closing thoughts. So I'll see you guys in just a second. So the first thing that I want us to remember before we go into drawing the quick picture to add is just our uh, base 10 block pieces in our models or in our quick pictures, I should say. Remember that this square represents one whole number. So anytime you see that, that represents one whole. This little stick represents one tenth, which is less than a whole, and there are 10 tenths in one whole. And then this little circle represents a hundredth, which is less than a tenth, and there are 10 hundredths in one tenth. So we're going to need to keep that in mind, not just for today's lesson, but also for tomorrow's lesson. And really, anytime you're adding or subtracting decimals, whether you're using a quick picture or not. So let's look at our first example. In our first example, we are going to be adding the following decimals. We're going to add 2.5, or two, let me say that like a mathematician, bad Miss Robinson, not 2.5, but 2 and 5 tenths plus 2 and 8 tenths. So those are my two add-ins. This is add-in number one. This is add-in number two. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to model both of my add-ins. So first, I'm going to model two and five-tenths. So I have two holes. So I'm going to draw one, two, and I have five-tenths. So I'm going to draw five-tenths. One, two, three, four, five. So that is my first add-in that I just modeled. Now I'm gonna model two and eight tenths. So again, I have two holes, so I'm gonna put that here. One, two, and then I'm also looking at the fact that I have eight tenths, so I'm going to model eight tenths. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So. Once you've modeled them, the next thing you need to remind yourself of or tell yourself is of any piece or any uh, place value position, I cannot have more than nine. So if I just look at my tenths first, because I'm always going to be starting on the place value position that is furthest to the right, which would be my tenths place, the first thing I want to do is look at how many tenths that I have. Now, just by looking at it, I know that I have more than nine tenths. I obviously have more than nine tenths because this already has eight tenths in it. So once I get to the point where there's more than nine, I need to collect groups of 10 and start regrouping. So I'm going to cross out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten tenths. And I just reminded you that 10 tenths is equal to one whole. So I'm going to take those 10 tenths that I just crossed out and I'm going to re-represent that as a whole right there. Then I'm done. I can't regroup the remaining tenths because there's only three and I need 10 tenths to regroup it into a whole. So there's nothing else for me to do with the remaining tenths. Now I'm gonna go on to my holes. I only have a total of one, two, three, four, five holes. So there is nothing for me to regroup there. So I'm actually done modeling or adding these two decimals using a quick picture. But now I need to interpret what's left. What is this telling me is the sum or the answer to two and five tenths plus two and eight tenths. So I'm gonna count how many holes do I have? One, two, three, four, five. So I know in the ones place, there's going to be a five. I'm dealing with tenths, so I'm gonna go ahead and add my decimal there. And then I'm gonna count how many tenths are there. One, two, three. So I'm gonna write 
3 in the tenths place. So this quick picture tells me that the sum of 2 and 5 tenths plus 2 and 8 tenths is 5 and 3 tenths, which is listed right here. I think you guys can see it. So that's our first example. In just a second, I'm going to give you your second one. Okay, so here's our second example. We are going to be adding 1 and 37 hundredths plus 1 and 85 hundredths. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to model my first add-in, 1 and 37 hundredths. I have one hole, so I will draw one hole. I have 3 tenths, so I will model 1, 2, 3 tenths. And I have 7 hundredths, so I'm going to model 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 hundredths. And I'm done with that. Next, I'm going to model 1 and 85 hundredths, so I have one hole, so I will draw one hole. I have 8 tenths, so I will model 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 tenths, and 5 hundredths, so I will model 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's step one. Step two, remember, is ask yourself, do I have more than nine of any piece? And if the answer is yes, you know there's some regrouping that needs to be done. So we're gonna start with our hundredths because that's the furthest place value position to the right. And I have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. So yes, I do have too many hundredths pieces. So I'm going to take 10 of these hundredths and I'm going to regroup it as a 10th because I know that 10 hundredths is equal to 1 tenth. So I'm going to exchange these by crossing out 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. It's the same thing that you're doing if you had 10 dimes and you gave someone 10 dimes and they gave you $1. That's essentially what we just did here. And I need to make sure that I represent that I exchange those 10 tenths or I'm sorry, 10 hundredths for 1 tenth by adding that tenth right there. There's 2 hundredths left. There's nothing else I can do with those. So now moving on to the tenths place and the tenth pieces. I have a total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wait, I'm sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 9, 10, 11 tenths. I just have to make sure I thought I miscounted. So yes, I have too many of those. So I'm going to cross out 10 of these. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I didn't count this one because I just put that there. But you could have counted and you still would have ended up with more than 9 and you would have regrouped the same. So now I'm going to take these 10 tenths and I know there are 10 tenths in one hole, so I'm gonna represent that hole here. You cannot forget to re-represent what you exchanged for. So if you're regrouping your tenths into a hole, you not only do you need to cross them out, but you also need to draw them as the hole because this will be a part of your answer. With my holes, I don't have more than nine, I only have three, so there's nothing left for me to do with those. So now that I've done all that, I need to interpret what this is saying my answer or my sum is to 1 and 37 hundredths plus 1 and 85 hundredths. So right now, if I look at my quick picture, I have a total of 1, 2, 3 holes. So I'm going to write 3 in the 1's place. I have a total of 1, 2 tenths. So I'm going to put my decimal and my 2 in the tenths place. And then I have a total of one two hundredths. So I'm gonna put my two in the hundredths place. And that tells me that the sum of one and 37 hundredths plus one and 85 hundredths is going to be three and 22 hundredths. So that's it. It's not very difficult, but it will become difficult if you find yourself getting a little disorganized with your work. Just remember that as you're crossing out and regrouping, you got to immediately represent what it was you used to regroup or create your new piece in your quick picture. So I'm going to flip the camera around and give you guys some closing thoughts. So I will see you in just a second. So those are the two examples that I wanted to show you guys with this lesson. Just keep a couple of things in mind as you're tackling your homework tonight. Number one is the first thing you wanna do is you wanna model those add-ins. Model the two numbers that are being added together first. 
After you've modeled them, you need to count your pieces and make sure that you don't have more than nine of any type of piece. If you have more than nine, you need to start doing some regrouping. And then as you're working through the problem, just make sure you are very careful and patient so that your diagram is clear and that you can read it correctly so that you can express your answer at the very end of the problem. So that's it for today's math tutorial. As always, I hope this video was helpful to you or helpful to your parents if they're watching them. If you're a parent out there, Thanks for watching. Thanks for being proactive and helping your child with their homework tonight. I will see you guys in the next video and I will talk to you soon. Bye.